Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers The Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of the game where we are exploring the world of New Eden. We have decided to go with the resurrection route which means we need to kill quote-unquote innocent people for our own goodwill, our benefit we try to get Anthea back and that will mean we are selling our soul in the process of doing that. Let's take a look what today's quest will look like. So we are in the dark woods and we have done the haunting. So the next step in the chronicles is the wood folks return to the broken bridge. And that's exactly what we're going to do. right up there and if my memory serves me well we needed to go this way let's go back to the bridge I feel stronger let's see if I was right about those spectral stains Good, we're going to find out whether or not she was right. I bet you she was. This whole thing was a nice little intertwinement. But we could interact with the trappers, solve the case. That's and it. We're back. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Good, we got our little uh, bit of rope. Unfortunately, what the game doesn't tell you is you still need to get it back. Come with me. I think that's the area that we have uh, witnessed before, but apparently resources have respawned here. I'm not going to complain. And this time we do have a, a bit of rope. Alright, we're definitely having enough resources, but there are special resources that seem to be missing to upgrade our equipment right away. Can go wrong here for a little bit of an extra story. That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way hmm. through here neither, far as I can see. Okay. 
Okay, let's double check what kind of secret is lurking here. Leap. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. Smell of corpses, this hearty. Die, you bastard. Okay, the heavy attackers definitely deal a lot of damage. Should use them more often. What do you see? Anything useful? There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. All right, more enemies. Got to be a bit careful here. We definitely do not want to Watch out. Spectre possession. We definitely do not want to lose more health. Ask for help if you need it. Okay. That worked well. You found a cluster of spectral activity as a banisher. It's your job to eliminate the threat. Health potions and decoction charges will be fully restored at the start and the end of this encounter, eliminating a cluster grant's permanent power bonus. Okay. It's like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. Okay. I think... Set the Scorch. Uh... Ghost, Hawkening, Force a Scorch to appear. I think that is that. Present yourself! Okay. That's not the ritual I'd have used. Unveil yourself! There's more of them. Careful now. The blue one is uh, the dangerous ghost. Think you could take on a ghost? Get out of there! You're done! Definitely a lot of Ask them. Ask for help if you need it. Uh, spawning. Watch out! Spectre possession! Interrupted his possession. There's more of them! You're wasting your time on this one!
Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. Okay. Stubborn bastard. Spectre going for a meat suit. Can I get to this one? Oh boy. Watch out. Spectre possession. I'm right here, you know. It's when a corpse is this hearty. Oh, come on, Saiken. You can do better. Watch out. Spectre possession. <laughs> Some of them do have... The spectral energy. Once you're through the shield, it's I'm easy to kill them. Join in too. Oh. Power increase plus one to all attributes. Well, that was something, wasn't it, guys? Good, we're fully filled up. That's great. Didn't get anything else, but. I mean, we got plus one to all attributes, I suppose. So for us, sometimes uh, sometimes that just means one willpower, which isn't too bad. I like that. Something's here, hidden. And I learned the heavy attack was very, very good. I'm sure if you said much earlier. There's a card up there. Not sure where to stand. He said it needs to align. Hmm.
maybe on top of the mountain, but that's pretty far away. Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Alright, the game has an interesting method of telling you where you need to go, indirectly so. Because I could have gotten through that passage up there earlier, but I chose to go down here. And it turned out to be the right choice at the end of the day. Here they said at that position we just need to find the right angle, right? This looks sort of like the right angle, Would you, wouldn't you agree? Yep, that is the right angle. Yeah. That's high. Trust me. close my eyes next time hmm I would love to get over there but that's not happening Or is it? A bit railroady the game. You can see it gives you the illusion that you could go left and right, but you really can't. Uh, mate, you do have a sword. You can just cut yourself loose. Are you alright? Right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. <sighs> Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now.
stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, vanish. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! That camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. <laughs> come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. A bone walker. It's oh, shite. Made you do it, sword. You can do it. How? Please. Wonderful. Never mind. I'll do this myself. When an enemy is blocking, you can break uh, through with. Um Perfect switch, charge attacks, and so on. Okay, cool. Ah, that hit was unnecessary. Oh, yeah, case for you. And as always, more are coming. Peter! All right, very good. Ooh. Every time a new enemy type comes up, I'm like, oh my lord, is this going to be a bad one or a good one? Nothing like playing on high difficulty for the first time when you don't know anything. Look at you. Fabulous. Um, so we got a wristband for, I assume, her, but we can't upgrade it because we're not at the shelter yet, which is good. I'm still not 100% sure. I mean, this one here is presence 10, punch damage. Okay, so it increases her punch damage. Okay. To the devil said in Dirty's place with rotten, half-eaten, bloody, leaving sharp edge, broken, bloody arrowheads and whatnot for shame. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Alright. Signs of life ahead. I wonder how the average hunter, or let alone average Joe, is just surviving in these environments.
We're being continuously attacked by something. Wolf, specters. Spectre wolves. Comet yet again. Ah, they brought more friends. Show them why they should fear banishers. That she's Try not this on for size. That she's not taking any damage. That's just such a great feature. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. And so many dead. Like that nightmare must be a super legendary nightmare to spawn that many dead. More spectral creatures. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock. Then okay, on the map. Whew. We've moved all the way through here, through the woods. And we're now in the woodfalls. On woods to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking. And I don't want one, neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him! Ha! Okay. Well, I think some things Moscow. haven't care, changed sir. over the last With 400 God's help, years. We shall all see better days. Good, time for us to restock. Maybe there is a case to be found here. I'm pretty sure there is. We just need to find it. And the game so far has always done a very good job in leading us to whatever case there is. Little bit of a secret up here. All right, all right, that's a little bit far. Where are we going? So you want a map? 
Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way you're lost in? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. Mm hmm Okay. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. Very nice. Who is she? I don't know you. Red McRaith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believed the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. Okay, I was hoping I'll we leave could you get a cool, Good day. cool map or something. Or a little bit better information than just everything sucks. We're hungry. I do understand times are harsh and I shouldn't make fun of it, but it's a bit of a repeating pattern. At least we find a lot of resources. That's a big plus. Haven't fully understood the camp yet. It's unfortunate that you can't enter any of these houses. Although I can see an old lady in there. Vanish her. You made it. Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Okay, let's see. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. This enigmatic riddle of a, written by a stranger indicates the location of a treasure for a hundred. Okay, we could sell stuff, plenty thereof, but there isn't really much that we can buy. Linen, yarn, look, let's just buy a little bit of yarn and a little bit of linen, you never know when you might need it. I 
are we trying our luck with the enigmatic riddle written by a stranger sure why not let's go i'll bid you a good day More witch stone. That's a good start. Good. Let's double check our inventory and uh, figure out. And figure out what that riddle is about, shall we? Trinkets, odd and ends, maybe hard to meet, yet uh, through the dark and somber trees you may find what you seek. Follow the winds, don't lose your way. Let not the scent keep you at bay. Seems like we might need to sail somewhere. I uh, am through the dark and somber trees. Okay, when I find uh, some of them, I might uh, find that Come treasure. On. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hake. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Something the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt, dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. 
There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. All right. Difficult situation. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. Oh, come on. Move. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I knew it. She kept the good stuff up here. That's locked. There must be a key. Hmm. I suppose we're getting that once we have cleared uh, the quests. So. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye, we're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories. Likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. All right, he does not seem to Goodbye be... Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Seems not to be one of our quest NPCs. old lady I th that might be in here wait 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 is that a chest uh, none that we can open chests have absolute fantastic loot unfortunately we cannot get in here there she is sitting and waiting but we can't get in there yet Well, maybe she is one of the NPCs. You're new. Good day to you too. Red McCraith, madam. At your service. You're a long way from Scotland. Lost, are you? You're more than the rest of you. Kate Newsmith asked me to make the rounds. As a banisher, I may be of use. A banisher, is it? I tend the living in the Lord's name and leave the dead to him. You do well to do the same. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you not believe in ghosts? I believe in heaven and hell. I believe God has a plan for the earth between. I believe in helping others. Even charlatans. Charming though they may be. I didn't catch your name. Doctor? You'll not let the governor hear you call me a doctor. Mistress will do. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher. Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. The world about us is the new Smith sisters' purview. I'm content to worry only about the patient in front of me. May I ask, Mistress Fitcher, how you became a doctor? I'm no doctor, and you must stop calling me that. My father was a doctor. I took an interest in his work. He encouraged this. God, he said, will work through any hands willing to be of service. But besides, he needed the help. Arthritis, you see. My father was unusual as a doctor, for his patients tended not to die. Folk trusted him, and though they knew me as a midwife, they trusted me too. When he died, his patients became my patients. And you? Whose footsteps did you follow in becoming a banisher? A dear friend. To him I'll be forever grateful, for through him I met the love of my life. I'm so tempted to appear to her right now. 
so tempted. <laughs> I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banish. Still not our target. I appreciate that they voiced everything, like uh, the amount of work that has gone into creating that scenery is immense. Good day to you, Squire. Uh, thank you. But no Good, we already have worked uh, with him. That's where we met him. Good, half of the camp is searched through. Just requiring that one NPC that can finally help us. Or we can help them, rather. Listen, isn't there a map? Good, find your shelter. Don't overcomplicate it, Saiken. Just get to your shelter. Follow the storyline and stop talking to everyone. get up here the answer is no all right let's try again the one thing with the pathing in this uh, game it is uh, it could be a bit improved so I do understand we are going around here and then to the left okay cool Bit of a mini map would be helpful. Around here, to the left, straight ahead, and there we are. Cool. No further loot. Let's just get inside and see what we're dealing with. I've slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. Fabulous. All right, let's uh, take a good rest. Yeah. No, we won't freeze. I won't freeze. In terms of inventory, look at that. Can I upgrade the ring finally? We will need an elite gem to further upgrade it. And here we have the same problem, right? We still need the Scorch Accretion in order to upgrade that. You know, I think it's a perfect time uh, to call quits for this episode. A lot happened. We've uh, finally gotten into the new camp. So let's prove ourselves the next time that we're here and continue with the quest. This one took a little bit longer than uh, the last episode, but things are not as straightforward and I don't want, uh, if a game focuses so much on storytelling, 
I just don't want to rush it, but kind of provide that immersive feeling as well. Thanks a lot for uh, looking through this episode. In, if you want to rest near the like button, feel free to do that. You might want to upgrade it by clicking a couple of times on it and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.